Alright, welcome back. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to learn how to... Hang on. Oh, let's get these over here. Let's get this all correct. Let's see where is it? No, nothing up here. Ah. Today we're gonna learn how to clean your bottom brackets. Now a lot of places will tell you, don't bother cleaning them, just buy a new one. Um, the bearing, we can clean them. So, today, it's going to be about cleaning bearings. So, let's have a look at what we will need so here we go all right first off let's say um paint peeler methylated well i haven't actually said methylated spirits but it works so just bear with me wdx40 some oil, ah, uh, sorry, some grease, and just oil. Alright, let's go big crooked. No, I'm crooked. No, here we go. Alright, so, ah, oh, rags, and where are we? Just a pointy sort of tool. This one's one of them. Bog charge. See if everything's powered going good. Sort of tool. Me. I use it for a lot of other things. Alright. Let's say. Alright, let's just start with the bearings by taking, I don't know how well you can see it, the green case that's on the inside out. So, let's, let's just peel these apart. Now, you want to make sure these come out nicely because if you don't take these parts out, they're just going to corrode and disappear. Now, in the skateboarding world, that would be fine just running this. This is why. Oh no, bearings, you can clean them, it's all good, and it's not much problems, so yeah, but let's that's bearing number one, this one, she's a little bit more worse for wear, so, what? Alright, here we go. This one's a little worse for wear, so... Oh, she's not too bad. But, we're still clean. Here we 
go, second one popped open. Now, that's what we're working with. When you hear your bottom it's crunching and grinding, you know why. Um, get your fingers a little leg clean. Your little rings, you can dip them in washing detergent due to they're not actually connected to your bearings. Just washing them, just washing them is going to make it a lot better. Now, I could be wrong, but Make sure before you put these back on, they're washed, scrubbed, even just get a little piece of cloth and wipe them clean. As you can see, uh, you might not, oh, yeah, there, there. There's a little bit of hard implement you know, on there. So, this literally gets into all the nick and gritty. You can even get your toothbrush if it's an old one. And scrub it. Me, I don't need a toothbrush. So, pss. I'm not even going to go there. But yeah. You can just wipe them clean. It might take longer than most parts because you want to get it clean. So, but yeah, just get in all the little grooves and clean it up. You can still see stuff there. But yeah. Just clean them up as good as you can. Now, the important part. Now, get your methylated spirits, your bearings, and now, in some sort of container that's going to take paint peeler, what else, methylated spirits, kerosene, petrol, whatever, whatever's going to strip the grease out of the bearings, so here goes the methylated spirit. Now we'll just let that sit and mm, we'll check your periodic every now and then. You all probably know what I'm meaning when I said that periodicity every now and then. But yeah, we'll check now and then and see how it's going. The oil will, or the grease will. So they take part, especially when you give it a little shake. So we're taking about hmm, what hmm, okay. few hours, a uh, few minutes, maybe a couple hours, 
and we'll see how it's going. Until then, I'll drop some clips here. Hang on. Oh, come on. Alright, I might drop a few clips right here and we'll get back to it in a few minutes, so hang five. <laughs> Sure. All right, here we are, back. Bearings are looking good, and it hasn't even been 24 hours, so. But at the same time, gotta tell you, little screwdriver the thing, they work at a tree. That's all the stuff they came out. So. It helps to sort of pick at them, but let's have a look at these bearings. That's all the stuff that came out, so it helps to sort of pick at them, but let's have a look at these bearings. Now you can see, once I get a proper grip, you can see, oh wait to it, here we go, you can see most of the grease is now out, so just shake off excess, now WDX40, no brainer, get in there, Rag. Hang on. Uh -oh. Piece of rag. Give it a good boy. And we still got a bit of grease in there. But that ain't gonna hurt. 99.9% of the grease is out, which is what we want. Okay. Now you got your grease out, your W beat it, beat it, put it to one side, repeat the process. A few moments later. Now this one looks a lot better than that one. Hmm. Okay. Right. Now you've done all that. Get to a tap and wash them, just wash them, so I'll be back. 12 seconds later. Alright, now you wash them, just with normal tap water, nothing special, dry them. Oh, liquid out. The washing is just to get all the <coughs> methylated spirits or turpentine or whatever you decide to use. So, yep. Get your rag, get in there. Give it a good scrubbing. 
at the same time this will help get extra grease out Two thousand years later. Right. Two. Be greased. Bearings. Now. Next step. It's a little bit messy, but. But in the end, you're going to be grateful because you're going to save so much money. So let me get the next part set up and I'll be right back. <coughs> now, we're going to put grease back into the bearing. So let's do it. You're going to need of course, your bearings. Big blob of grease. Motor grease I use, so it doesn't even exist. And pulp. It works. It, it does the job. And a screwdriver. So Get heap of grease. Could just use your fingers, just as well, and push it all in. Uh -uh. about the excess you'll clean all that off after but yeah make sure it's all filled other side just keep repeating it Don't be stingy. Alright. Here's one. And I need more grease in a second. Get more grease. That will do. Get more in this side. Now fill the other side.
Now, while you're cleaning your hands, cleaning outside of the bearing. Now, I should have done that before. Oh, well. Now, remember, keeping all the grease in the bearing. Want to clean the outside. All greased up and all greased up beautifully. Now this one could go a little bit cleaner. Like I said, don't be a scab on the grease. Alright. Make sure you got either gloves on or plenty of rags. Good, you'll need them. More rags. Now you have rings, they could be grimy as all crap, but just clean them, just wipe them down and be careful doing it because you can bend them. So yeah, just give them a good cleaning, maybe a shot with WDX. I know people are going to go off and go, WDX is not worth, it's not cleaning it. But it's plastic. It doesn't matter. Bang. And we got to clean. A couple more times, or one more time, and we'll go on to the next step. Ah, they're good enough. We'll be right back. <coughs> All right. Now, you'll know if you've done this right at the end of this. So, let's do it. I got one bearing and a cup. And just slide that back into place. Oh no, make sure you keep all your grease in. Alright, now we take our second cap and just place it in. Now, excess grease, that's good. Means you got plenty of grease in there. Right. Now, this is the tedious part. Now, if you don't do, if you don't do this part properly, you could be getting grease everywhere while you ride. So, now you've got your bearing all back together, full of new grease, grab it, and just run it. 
Now, this one, this can take mm, five minutes. It can take a lot longer. So, but yeah, the more you do this, the more grease that comes out. So, again, grab your cloth. Wipe it down. And just keep going. To you get no grease coming out. Once you get to that point, you're pretty much on the road again. But yeah, if you see, grease. So, yeah, you just keep going to not a drop of grease comes out. And once you finish that, repeat on the second berry. So, all off, this part should take anywhere from 10, 20 minutes to 40 minutes. And as you can see, each time you get less and less to no grease is coming out. So I'll keep going with this and once I finish I'll see you again. So just be patient. A few inches later. Alright. Now here you got your bearings Mine a bit of grease coming still through. Which isn't too bad. I can still work with that. But hopefully you have both of them done by now. Next thing is the fun part. Put them back in your bike. Oop, first. Get your oil. Doesn't have to be anything flash. You know, I've just got a bit of motor oil in an old honey pepper pot. Squeezy top, and yeah, just give them a drink. And yeah, there you go, your bearings are as good as me. Not much to it. Just soak your bearings in that oil. That will just give it a drag, keep everything still lubed on top of the grease. And yeah, you just saved what, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. And most people have half of this stuff laying around their house already. But, there you go. That's my way of doing bearings. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this, drop a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You all know the drill. Comment what you would like to see me do next. If there's any other things you would like to, me to do and try, we'll give it a shot. So, till next time, peace out.